Usually in year five or year six, children are introduced to rules of divisibility. Just remember that when we're talking about these rules of divisibility, we're talking about whole numbers. If there's a decimal or a fraction attached to your number, the rule won't be the same. The first rule of divisibility to look at, all multiples of two have zero, two, four, six, or eight in the ones column or units. They will be even numbers. All multiples of 10 have a zero in the ones or units column. 10, 20, 100, 500, 360. They'll all have a zero in the last column in the units or ones column. All multiples of five have a zero or a five in the ones column or the units column. Here it's a little bit more tricky to recognize, but there are quick ways you can do this. Multiples of three have digits that add up to a multiple of three. For example, 24 is eight times three. It's a multiple of three. And if you add the digits two and four in 24, you get six, which is a multiple of three. 36 is 12 times 3, and if you add the digits of 36, 3 and 6, you get 9, which is a multiple of 3. Bigger numbers, such as 3,543, you wouldn't necessarily know straight away that that is a multiple of 3, but if you quickly add the digits, 3 and 5 and 4 and 3 is 15, and 15 is a multiple of 3. And just in case you wanted to be absolutely sure, you could add the 1 and 5 in 15 to get 6, which you know is a multiple of 3. The next rule is very similar to the 3s, and that's for 9s. Bearing in mind that 9 is a multiple of 3, it's still worth knowing the 9s as well. Multiples of 9 have digits that add up to a multiple of 9. So 27, which is 3 times 9, if you add the 2 and the 7, you get 9. 108, which is 12 times 9, there's actually two ways of looking at this. You could say 10 add 8 is 18, which is a multiple of 9. Or you could say 1 add 0 add 8 is 9. If you get to the 18, 1 and 8 is 9. So you can always get back to the 9. Another number that you might not recognise as a multiple of something 72,954, I'm going to say confidently that that is a multiple of 9 because the digits 7 add 2 add 9 add 5 add 4, if you add those digits together you get 27 and 27 is a multiple of 9 and if you wanted to be doubly sure add the 2 and 7 and they equal 9. All multiples of 4 will have the last two digits making a multiple of 4. The easiest way to explain this is to just show you. I can say with confidence that 124 is a multiple of 4 without knowing that it's 31 times 4 by just looking at the last two digits, 24, because 24 is a multiple of 4 and as long as those last two digits make a multiple of 4, the whole number must also be a multiple of 4. 536, exactly the same. I don't need to know how many lots of 4 there are to know that it is a multiple of 4. Just look at the last two digits of that number, 36. And 36 is a multiple of 4. It's 9 times 4. Very useful with much bigger numbers if you need to know if it's a multiple of 4. With this number here, you just need to look at the last two digits, 48 and that is 12 lots of 4. So if you want to recognise a multiple of 4, just look at the last two digits. You might be wondering how this works. If we go back to 124 and break that down, you've got 100 plus 24. 24 is 6 times 4, and 100 is 25 times 4. We could add another digit in front of that 124 and still be confident that we have a multiple of 4. Because what we have here is 1000 add 100 
add 24, and each of those numbers is a multiple of 4. 1000 is 250 times 4, 100 is 25 times 4, and 24 is 6 times 4. All multiples of 100 are multiples of 4, so as long as the 10 and unit come to a multiple of 4, then the whole number will be a multiple of 4. All you need to do to know if it's a multiple of 4 is look at the last two digits. The final one, multiples of 6. This works the same as multiples of 3. As long as the number that you've started with is even and it's a multiple of 3, then it will also be a multiple of 6. So I'll just show you some examples. 144, there's actually 24 lots of 6 in 144. And if we add the digits of 144, 1 and 4 and 4 is 9. And 144 is an even number. Something that might confuse some here, 1 add 4 add 4 is 9, which is an odd number. But it just has to be a multiple of 3. As long as the number whose digits you're adding up is even, as 144 is, then you have an even number. And if it's a multiple of 3, then it must be a multiple of 6. Here we have 2,135,172. The digits add together to make 21. 21 is a multiple of 3. Even though 21 is odd, the number we started with, the 2,135,172, is an even number. You can tell because there's a 2 in the 1s or units column. So that number must be a multiple of 6.